Um, but while on the trip, um, it was really where I encountered the world of sustainable fashion and social enterprise. Again, this is around 2008, 2009. It felt like the space was really emerging. It was very inspiring to meet um, you know, designers doing really interesting things with uh, recycled materials and artisan co-ops that were you know, starting to explore different um, types of uh, design co collaborations uh, with Western artists. Um, and so this was when I kind of got my first business idea, which was to create a retail experience that would highlight the work of talented artisans, but also share the stories behind the product. Um, but because I had studied humanities and worked in communications and not business, I felt I needed more kind of like the quote unquote business skills, which, <laughs> um, you know, yeah, uh, everyone feels always feels like they need a little bit more when they're fearful. But this was this was my um, where I felt I, I had a gap. So I moved to New York with the idea of working for a startup, learn how a business is built from the ground up. Um, and I landed at Quirky, which was a tech startup that helped bring invention ideas to life. It's since uh, closed, but for a while it was uh, kind of a, a, an up and comer in the New York tech scene. Um, and because I was there quite early, I was employee number seven, um, I was able to ultimately lead their community content and customer service teams. Um, but it was a very, very intense environment. And by the time I was 24, 25, um, I was ready to take what I had learned and get back to that social enterprise idea. 